Gristi, and welcome to this episode of Beyond the Field from Austria. I'm your host, Christy Johnson. On this show, we'll find out why football is such a family affair for wide receiver Jakob Diplinger, and we'll go behind the scenes at a Swarco Raiders photo shoot to find out which player has a shot at becoming Austria's next top model. This edition of Beyond the Field starts right now. Wide receiver Jakob Diplinger has a stellar football resume, including two Euro Bowls, one EFAF Cup, and two Austrian Championships. But what sets him apart is the way he approaches the game. I just love being around with the guys and, and just having fun on the field, and that's just what, what I love about, about the game. It's just a bunch of guys sticking together, and everybody uh, goes for one goal, and everybody plays hard for each other, and, and that's really the, the, cool, the cool thing about American football. From the start off, he was so enthusiastic, and it was kind of like, number one is football, and then comes the rest, even like family and school and friends and everything else that should be very important in your life. But for Jakob, football and the Raiders and that Raiders family thing was always his number one priority. I think he's one of the best receivers we ever had. I think everybody would be happy if you had Jakob Dibling on his team. Well, James C is uh, really a cool guy on and off the field. Obviously on the field, a, a great receiver, a, a, a go-to guy when it comes down you know, to make great plays and really help the Raiders to win games. Jakob is a, is a talented athlete, especially from, over, from the Austria standpoint, and he's much more advanced than probably a typical Austrian skill player because he's been through a lot of football. Foreshadowing his time as a Swarco Raider, Diplinger was ironically born in the Bay Area and it was here where he would be introduced to the sport by his two older brothers. I started playing soccer there, of course, because coming from Europe, I need to play soccer in America. Uh, but eventually there were like kids in, 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 the, in our backyard and they had this, this Nerf football and you know, didn't stop throwing that thing around. So finally, you know, I said, you know, I'll try that out as well. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, I got this influenza called American football. They probably got to see it over the TV and they saw their friends playing it and then they started playing it in the backyard a little bit and that was like how, how we got to know it. Upon returning to Austria, fate would intervene again when a Saturday morning 17 years ago set the stage for the Diplingers to become the first football family of T-Roll. I still remember that day. I discovered a little a little brochure, a little poster somewhere where the, where the Raiders club announced and, and asked for, for players. And he came back and said, Daniel, you know what? I saw this poster hanging up there. There was a football, not a soccer team, a football team founded. Daniel was the first to go there at the next opportunity and so, so it, it all started. My whole family is football 100%. My parents are at every game. Like you said, my oldest brother is the general manager. The second oldest brother, he was one of the best, maybe maybe not even the best receiver, Austrian receiver that's that's ever played in Austria. Having guys who, who grow up together, love to play football, uh, talk about football, their whole family uh, love watching games, watching Jakob playing, watching us playing. What the Diplinger family means to the Raiders football is best described um, as something like a little uh, dynasty going on here with the Raiders. They helped to build up this whole organization and they're carrying it on all together with uh, everybody involved. The receiver's love of the game led him back to California at age 18 to play his senior year of high school, which would greatly improve his skills. I went uh, for an exchange year to Southern California to, to go to and play for San Clemente High School. I was on the football team, I was on the track team, I made the whole high school year, I did the uh, high school diploma, and that was really uh, probably one of the, the best experiences I've, I've had in my, in my life so far. I would say that kind of like finally shaped him where he is right now. I mean, he already had his talents, he knew that he was a determined football player, he fell in love with football. But that year in America, that year playing in and for a high school team, 
that's a big difference between the European mentality towards sports and the, the North American mentality. It's just the attitude towards sports. It's just a hundred percent. No, it's a hundred and ten percent. So he got to know that, and he brought that back, and he lives that now in Innsbruck. As the director of the Swarco Raiders youth program, the 24-year-old has dreams for the kids he coaches to follow in his footsteps and make their way to America. We just try to, to develop them uh, as good as we can and, and get the program uh, better and better every year and, and maybe try to, to get more kids to do exchange programs with the United States, get them in, in American high schools, get them in American colleges. and. Uh, the number one long-term long goal, of course, is, is to get one in, in the NFL at some point, have a, a Svarko Raider play in the NFL. Maybe the, the best thing would be Svarko Raider going to the Oakland Raiders. That would be the, the perfect story. First time I've ever had my makeup done. Not by my sister. I'm here with some of the stars of the Sparkle Raiders as they mug for the camera while taking part in a local marketing campaign. Let's check them out. We're invited by one of our sponsors to do a photo shoot and uh, we're really happy and proud to be, you know, asked to do this and, you know, the guys are enjoying it. The best thing about being a model? I'm not. Oh, thank you. No, it was actually pretty tough in there. Uh, the cameraman gave us a lot of formations to deal with. And, um, you know, but we stuck together as a team. We pulled through and we got them taken care of. Down. Set. Hunt. They should definitely register at one of the, like, Germany's next top model or Austria's next top model. Oh, that's a hard decision. I think I would beat out on, on the catwalk. But uh, photo wise, I'm not the number one guy. I would definitely dominate the competition because I was just too hot for the rest. I would. The body, the smile. Alex Ho, number 20, he's got the Colgate smile going. Gonzalo's got that mysterious Latino thing. Vote for Gonzalo. He needs some money. Please vote for me for Austria's next top model. Just text message 0090. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this edition of Beyond the Field and that we'll see you again sometime soon. But until then, follow the silver and black at Raiders.com and Raiders.at. And of course, be sure to catch all the live game action from here in Austria at live.raiders.at. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.